flattered you, you thought of me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, well, I'll let you know, but it, but it is doubtful. <laughs> yeah, alright, see you later. Typical. Good off for the club job in Leeds. Yeah. Oh, wicked! Congratulations! Yeah, it's nearly double the money I want at the Woolly, and my mind boggles at what the tips might be. Yeah. Brilliant. When did you start? Well, I can't take it, can I? <sighs> Why? Well, it's obvious. Uh, no. <laughs> Letitia and Kirk? Oh, what? <laughs> well, I'd have to move there. Four nights a week, I won't finish till at least two o'clock in the morning. Won't be fair on Letitia. Why? Cos she'd lose her soft touch. I'll catch you later. Just take the job, mate. You'll be wanting a coffee before you go out. I haven't got any time. Can't sit around here moping all day, can I? Feeling better then after a night's sleep? Yeah. See you later. Oh. How's it going? Late. Hi. Hello. Want a cuppa? No, I'm all right, thanks. What was that letter you found at Auntie Barbara's? What letter? The one you obviously didn't want him to read. Oh, it was confidential. It had Paddy's name on it. Then why have you got it? You've not shown him, have you? I couldn't. Why? I can't. Like proper workers. Oh, you cheeky bagger. How do you fancy earning a bit extra for your lunch break? Oh, do. Fitting these at the cottage. Yeah, good for you, girl. Well, what's this in her dog? Ah, she's squatting. Oh, I'm not. I just don't want to leave her home yet. I thought Cathy was selling up. Oh, it's all right for her, sending herself in Oz. Well, what's Marlon got to say? Nothing. Anyway, it's down to me. I don't know. I thought you dingles believed in people sticking up for themselves. Well, Marlon's a dingle too, you know. Well, if you won't do it, I'll have to find someone else. I bet Zach would. Yeah. Well, your doors never shut properly again. Please, Lisa, I'm desperate. It's only till we get fixed up. I'll give you a tenner. Ah, oh. uh, I am sorry, but we don't have any vacancies here. <laughs> well, it won't work for you. Good. <clears throat> so, clear off. Please, Lisa. Oh, all right, then. And we certainly don't have any vacancies for troublemakers like you. Shut it, you little pipsqueak. You, outside now, we need words. Dear Patrick, I'm so, so sorry that things have ended this way and that it is all my fault. Please believe me when I say I only wanted the best for you. I know you felt I interfered. I did it because I loved you. But in loving you, I should have respected your decisions. In Emily, I think you have found a dear, sweet girl whom you love and is, I can see, devoted to you. I wish things could have been different and that I could have been a small part of your future lives together. I know now that cannot be. Your loving mum. I felt cold when I read it. Do you think this is a suicide note? Well, now you know why I can't show him it. Oh, but you've got to. He has an absolute right to see this. It's a dying wish. How many times have I told you not to get stuff on tick? How else am I supposed to get it? Wait for me Christmas box off you? Dog eight five are stuffed in a card. How far will that get me? At least it won't get you into debt with catalogue. Oh, no, and Kirk can run around barefoot. Oh, so you spent it all on him, did you? 400 quid's worth? Yeah. And where did that glittery top come from you had on other night? Look. You might like going round dressed like a scarecrow, but I don't. How are you going to pay for it? It's my business. And anyway, you shouldn't be opening my mail. When it comes to my address with Ms Dagger on it, I open it and I am not being blacklisted because of you. <coughs> you do realise this is your tea break? Come in, Mr Pollard. I can't afford to have any pay dropped. I've got responsibilities. And I've got another driving lesson on Wednesday. Nicola? Aren't you going to ask me what the cakes are for? We're celebrating up at the Holiday Village. Celebrating the discovery of the face of Dale Park. We shared so much to celebrate. Well, no disrespect, but they're hardly likely to make you the face of the corner shop, are they? I mean, look at you. You can't even manage a smile for your best mate. You want to get that Paddy to take you out and cheer you up? His mother's just died. Well, being miserable won't bring her back. 
Some people just get wrapped up in themselves, if you ask me. See ya. Ah, oh, here's another smiler. I've got now to smile about. Um, have you got any pickled onions, Emily, love? <sighs> Comfort food. Pickled onions? Yeah, oh, I can get through a jar of them when I'm fretting. What are you worrying over? <sighs> I'll give you a clue. He's got a droopy tash and legs like bike spokes. And he's been deceiving me. I mean, how can you live with somebody who doesn't even trust you enough to tell you things? You can't, can you, Mrs. Eggleton? Maggie! We need to talk about your contract. Have I done something wrong? On the contrary. I want to extend it. Your website idea was a clincher. Thanks. Nicola seems really excited about having her face plastered all over the publicity. And do you have a problem with that? It's your choice. And you think I should choose you? Oh, of course not. Well, what's wrong with Nicola? She's young, bubbly, attractive. And that's not just because I'm her father. I know. So? Go on, don't give me any flannel, just tell me. She's just, I don't know, slinky. What? Not quite the family image. <laughs> well, even if I agree with you, we've hardly got time to hold auditions. Oh, yeah. Have we? Where are you going now? Where do you think I'm going with that like this? Mm, bowling again. I am. I'm thinking of getting a season ticket for Alton Ledger Centre. What's the big attraction there? What are you getting at? I just don't know why you can't tell me. Anybody would think you didn't trust me. Anyway. Oh, that's right. Walk away. Have I ever pestered you about what you're up to? I've never been up to out. What about that lodger? That went on. I had to take your work for that, didn't I? So you've got to take my word now. Yep, OK, then, bye. What's Paddy about? Um, he's out on calls. Has he been? Well, I haven't really seen him. I haven't even had a chance to talk to him about his mother. You aren't the only one. Ian Todd's just lost two lambs. Mrs. Hope said we have an early lunch. I thought we might go to a wool pack. I need to get washed up. I was on my way out for a bite. Oh, I'd better get back to work. Thank you. I wonder where Marlon's got to. Oh, I told him not to rush. I think maybe he's gone to an estate agent. Well, he's wasting his time. I'm not going anywhere. Maybe he's looking for a little bachelor pad for himself then. Paddy's not coming in? I don't think he's in the mood. No. I know people react differently to bereavement, but I never thought he'd be a martyr to it. It's not as if he was close to his mother. Maybe that's the problem. I suppose we'll get over it in time. We all do. I don't think it's going to be that easy for him. I know I can trust you. What is it? It looks as if she might have killed herself. Oh. Because Paddy told her he wanted her out of his life. Paddy. I saw him. All tugged up and nearly skipping to that bus stop. Well, there's no law against a chap playing bowls. Without his bowls? Oh, he was dressed up like a bowler, I'll give you that. But he wasn't clutching any little bag. Oh, well, well, it's indoors. Perhaps they supply him. They play on a carpet. That's not all some people do on carpets, I've heard. Are you casting aspersions? I am. I think you might be right. 
He's been fratting with that Agatha woman. I'm losing him. I'm losing him. Look at this. It'll sell itself. Especially with Chloe's winning smile. I'm still not so sure, you know. All you got to do is pose for a few pics. I would really like to, but no problem then. I thought Nicola was going to do it. Uh, it was never cut and dried. Rodney thinks it's important that we present the right image. And you are definitely it. You'll come across as everyone's ideal daughter or sister. Wholesome. Me? <laughs> well, at least you look wholesome. And it's okay with Nicola? Why shouldn't it be? We're a team, pulling together. You want some bun? See? One big happy team. Ah, uh, Nicky, uh, could we have a word? Oh, about the website. I'll need my hair doing and a nice expensive cut. We shouldn't penny pinch. Uh, no. Uh, could you give us a minute? And please don't bother us. We've got important things to discuss. How? Oh, perhaps I should just let him get on with it. You will not. Get it out of his system. They never get it out of their system. I just can't sit here not knowing. No, you can't. Come on, shape yourself. Get your coat on. Where, where are we going? To that bowling place. I've got my bus pass. We'll soon settle his hash. I suppose I should watch what I'm eating. <laughs> Wouldn't look brilliant, the face of Dale Park covered in zit. <laughs> you know I'm really proud of you, Princess. You're bright, attractive. Mm -hmm. And this could be my big break in the world of media. Uh, no. Well, it's a star. Uh, no. I know what it is. You just don't want me to get starstruck. <laughs> well, there's no danger of that, Princess. You aren't going to be on the website. I am. You aren't going to be the face of Dale Park, Princess. Why not? Because... Chloe is doing it. And do you know why? Because it's beneath you. That cow Maggie said something. No, it's my decision. You're worth more than that. Well, I thought you wanted an upmarket image. Yes, but not too sophisticated, though. You think I'm too sophisticated? <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, you know we get mainly... Hairy hikers and boring families with 2.4 children here. We simply can't afford to, well, scare them away by appearing too grand. He's nearly convinced me. <laughs> oh, Chloe, uh... We think we need someone a bit frumpy for the website, so I recommended you. <laughs> See? He's nowhere to be seen. He's likely to be tripping the light fantastic at some tea dance. for not trusting him. So do I. I've wasted an afternoon. <laughs> Trisha! Trisha, stop playing silly beggars! What's your key, mate? She's changed the locks. Must have blotted your copybook big style. I believe this. Hey, well, at least you haven't dumped your clobber on front lawn. I mean, it's happened to me more than once. She's chucked me out, hasn't she? Well, that means that she must love you. No, it's a sign of a passionate relationship, having ding-dongs. I mean, me and Brit, we're at them all the time. Plates flying, dinners binned. Complete embargo on the other. I don't feel loved. Hey, the best part of breaking up is making up. Ter Terry, I'm sorry, 
I might be being a bit dimmy, but you and Brit, okay, never made up. She skipped the light fantastic with the brewery under manager. How can you say that when I'm just trying to help? What we have here is a total breakdown in communication. Well, I'm so the best of us. Is that the best you can come up with? Do you want me to do a window for you? What? No, I've got... No, no, I'm going to go in through the front door and I'm going to come out with all my gear and my head I'll die. Oh, and <laughs> I'm that relieved. Do you know, I honestly don't know what I'd do if I lost him. Yes, well... There's no knowing what some people see in others. Well, I'm um, you haven't been quite so lucky. That little dog of mine gives me all the love I need. And he doesn't take himself off to the hot spots of Hotton whenever the fancy takes him. You better go and tell him he's in the clear. No, come on, Edna. Let's go, love. There's no reason he should know we've even been here. <laughs> Seth Armstrong! Woo! What a man! <laughs> Now you know his game. Here, your Letitia gave me some sound advice on our ass. Well, I hope you took the notice, because she is a walking disaster in both matters financial and domestic. Is she? She's worse than useless. Oh. Hey, keys. Oh, I've got Lisa to change the locks. I couldn't care less, as long as you get me stuff out. What? Well, you hope she don't want me there. Well, it's not like that. Just give me the keys and I'll be out your face. No, Marlon! Hey, it looks to me like you two have got your wires crossed. Hey. I've had enough of your family sticking their oar in, yeah? You see what I mean about our Letitia? Look, you two get through there and sort it out and I'll mind bar. <laughs> I said, get through there and sort it out, otherwise I'll bang your heads together. Go on. Well, what are you waiting for? Go and give him a piece of your mind. I can't. Well, I will. No! This is between him and me. And that madam he's with. <laughs> Seth Armstrong! Oh, wacky thump. Hey. What are you doing here, Betty Love? Oh, I've heard so much about you. Agatha Commons. Common by name and common by nature. And that's enough of that, Mrs Birch. You've only just started, haven't you, Betty? I have been sat at home worrying about you, and here you are on the town gadding about. Oh, it's hardly gadding. One more peep out of you, lady, and you'll be trying to give birth to one of them bowls. Right, that does it. I came here for a quiet game of bowls and some good company. What's wrong with that? If there's no wrong with it, then why couldn't you tell me? Cos I didn't want to. Seth? Seth Armstrong, don't you dare walk away from me. Where's Seth? I've, I've got him a chuck eyes. Oh, I'll have it. I don't think he'll be back. I thought you might be in the wool pack. I'm happy you're here by myself. You might not want to talk, but have something to say to you. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. Hi, <laughs> right, Mrs. Dagger. Mm. What are you doing here? Never mind that. Who's minding little one? Chloe's looking after him. I thought Trisha was on tonight. Yeah, she's in back. Oh, gaz half a lager, Jace. Well, I hope you're paying for it, because she can't. Oh, show me up. Why don't you? You don't need no help from me. <laughs> What's up with her? It's just because I owe a bit on the catalogue. How much? 400 quid. Oh, don't you start. What happened to the rest I gave you? Oh, see, you're starting. Well, it's just the more debts you clock up, the less control you have over your life. Listen to yourself. When you have a kid, they call the shots. You should try it sometime. I've got the next best thing, you and Kirk. I know, I'm sorry. It's just her going on with herself. She does me nothing. Hey, did I tell you been offered a job in a club in Leeds? Oh, so all that was rubbish about me and you and Kirk, cos you're doing a bunk? No. I don't blame you. I'll be out in this dump like a shot. Well, why don't you come? You and Kirk. Get lost. I mean it. OK, then. We'll come. Yeah? Oh, brilliant. <laughs> what did you expect me to think? I can't believe you just walk out on me. I feel like a right divvy. Terry Woods grinning like a Cheshire cat. I thought we had something a bit stronger than that. I can't believe you just walk out after one round. When you left me last year... Oh, I... don't bring that up again. I can't easily forget it. It shoot me up badly. 
You can't keep on throwing it in my face. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm trying to tell you how I feel. It really, it shook me confidence and I don't want to ever feel like I'm losing control again. And that's what it felt like when I was locked out. I'm sorry. I really love you, Trish. Me and all. You know that feeling when you wake up? Like when you're at school and there's a big exam? I never went in for that much. Well, I did. I was very keen to please. Now, that feeling of dread, that pit in your stomach, that's how I've been feeling since my mum died only about 100 times worse. Waking up in a cold sweat, telling myself it'll be gone by the morning, but it never is. No matter how much I work or how kind people are to me, how much I drink, I'm still there. I keep picturing myself standing at an inquest in front of everyone, I mean, having to explain to them how I treated her, how I wrote her a note, telling her to keep out of my life. She was already dead. The coroner might decide there doesn't need to be an inquest. They will if he thinks she committed suicide. I'm sure she didn't, Paddy. <laughs> the only thing that I keep holding on to is if she had intended to do that and I never, ever dreamt that she would, I'm sure she would have left a note. Do you not think? <laughs> 